Hello, I'm Ken, and welcome to my channel. I cover a wide range of things from computers and personal technology to TV and movie reviews. Please subscribe, like, share, and maybe even the stupid bell thing. And if this channel ever goes anywhere, I'll greatly appreciate it. This video is going to be about EpoCam or Epoch Cam. Not exactly sure of the exact pronunciation of that, but it is an app you get for your phones that will turn them into a webcam so that you can make YouTube videos or even do video conferencing that you might have to do now. Although it's, you know, we're well into a, about a year into the, the pandemic. Hopefully if you've needed a webcam, you've figured something out already. But when I was uh, getting this application and in general looking for apps to turn my phone into a webcam, uh, I liked this one, but there was one main review that mentioned how they said it didn't work. So it did make me a little leery to get it. I started with the free version, as you probably should with pretty much anything you can. And it worked fine for me. So I did purchase it. I believe it was only $7, something like that. Um, and I actually have not really had any problems with the app at all. I believe I've only used it on an iPhone so far. I don't think I've used it on an Android. If I did, it was very short because I switched to an iPhone about the time I started this YouTube channel. And I'm just going to mention a couple things that I've learned about using the app. Um, this is not a, you know, by all means, uh, an everything how-to or be able to fix any problem with the app. Just a couple things that I uh, picked up installing it and using it along the way. The first thing that they mentioned uh, in the review that had a complaint about it not working was that they were on a Mac. And I have been using it on a PC and a Mac both. I have a MacBook Air from a couple years ago. And I've actually been using the Mac mostly uh, because it's portable and I can take it to a room where it would be a little more quiet. And the one thing I noticed with using it on the Mac, the one time I may have had trouble, was the driver didn't seem to make a connection if I had another user logged on to the computer. Okay, now I'm connecting my phone, and that is the error message that you see in the upper right hand corner when the program has trouble loading the drivers or connecting to the app when there are multiple people logged on to a Mac at the same time. Again, I'm not sure if this happens to Windows users, but this is the error message that you see if you have multiple people connected on a Mac computer. how I thought about uh, checking that or logging out of the other user uh, but I did and that seems to have completely fixed it you know there instead of logging out of whatever user was on before uh, I just did a switch user to myself and started using it and like I said the driver just didn't seem to stay connected before that, I had only used it by myself, so I didn't have any problems. So, like I said, I don't know how I thought to log off the other user, but I did. Logged off the other user, went back into mine, started the process over again, and the camera connected, or the driver connected just fine. So that might be uh, one thing that people, especially on the Mac, need to look for. 
maybe it'll affect PCs the same way. If you have uh, multiple users on a PC and you just switch between them, maybe make sure you just log everyone else off of the computer beside yourself. The second thing I've noticed is I would suggest turning on uh, OBS if that is what you're using. Uh, that is one of the main programs that people use to record YouTube videos and do stuff. That's what I use. And it seems uh, that if you have the OBS Studio running before you try to connect your phone and start the app, that works well. Also, uh, in that process, open up the EpoCam app before you plug it in and uh, after you uh, you get the app installed and especially if you buy it one thing you want to do is you want to check your quality settings the first couple things I recorded it uh, stayed on either fair or good, whatever the default is for the free app. It doesn't automatically switch you to the best or 1080 or whatever the best quality might be. Also, once you have paid for the app, you're able to choose how you make the connection. And if you can, of course, probably using a, a USB hardwire connection will be better than just going through Wi-Fi. Now with the EpoCam app, they say there's four simple steps. And it was pretty simple. The app actually tells you when to go to the computer and download the drivers. The website's got the link for both uh, Mac and PC right there in step two. Now I almost seem to think that while I was going through the setup process there was an extra driver to download than just the one driver you would assume you install. It's been several months now and I'm not going to go back and, and test it just in case I don't want to mess anything up on my own my own phone, but it almost seemed like there were two steps to the driver download process. Uh, so be very careful going through the setup on the phone and the installation of the drivers on your computer. Just make sure you go through every step and do every step and maybe keep that in mind about, hey, is there a second step to the driver installation? Also on the iPhone and probably on the Apple or the uh, an Android phone now too, when you plug in to the computer, you're going to get a prompt to trust the computer and possibly even uh, if it's for the OBS Studio or whatever app you might be using to trust that app and or that computer again. Uh, click on that confirmation probably as soon as possible and there might be multiples of those because it might ask you to save to the hard drive and to photos and the microphone so there might be a couple different confirmations for that trust if you wait too long and don't hit the confirmation it will just go away and then the app won't work and the only way I found to reinstall that, because I did that once, I saw the pop up and for some reason the way it was worded or something made me think, is this right? So I tried to look it up online real quick and it, I took too long and the prompt went away and I had to actually go into the phone settings and there's an option to reset trusted devices or trusted apps, whatever the exact uh, verbiage is on that. You can do 
quick Google or Bing or whoever you want, DuckDuckGo uh, search, and it'll come right up on how to reset your trusted apps or trusted computers, trusted devices. So I had to reset all of that to get uh, the app to work right. And then I also had to do that for everything on my phone after that. Uh, every you know web browser I'd open, every app that wanted to do location in that again. So just be careful going through the installation. Make sure you've got all, you go through every driver step. You give the confirmation for the phone to trust the app and the computer. And if you happen to have multiple users on your computer, make sure you log out. And I'm just going to scroll through the rest of their websites to get to a quick overview of the paid compared to the free version. And another slightly weird thing is if you download the free version to your phone and use it, and then you buy, yeah, $7.99 for the pro version, you actually have to download the pro app separately. The free app doesn't just get immediately updated or upgraded. You actually have to buy or download the pro app, even if you paid for it through the free app. So that's a little bit strange. But what you get to do is you can choose your connection mode with USB or something else. You can use the microphone that's on your phone. You can pinch to zoom, which I've actually used quite a bit. You can do HDR. And of course, the best thing, if I didn't mess, you can have high definition quality on the video. So I hope that helped some people. If you happen to be having some issues getting the EPO or Epoch Cam app to work on your computer, possibly Mac more specific, uh, make sure you go through the installation steps very carefully. Trust the app and if you have extra users logged onto the computer, log off those extra users and just uh, just have it be yourself logged onto the computer. Again, if you like this video, subscribe, like, share, and maybe even hit the bell thing. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one.